Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Hoffman. I'm a software engineer, a security researcher, and a technical author based out of the Pacific Northwest. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what I believe is the number one programming language that you should be studying in order to prepare for 2022. So in order to do the best job that I can at answering the question, what programming language should you learn for 2022, we're going to look at some data in regards to what languages are currently most actively used in the industry. So we're going to start with what's most active, actively used right now, but then we're going to go on and we're going to look at the trends. We're going to look at the growth rate, whether it be a positive or negative growth rate, and we're going to try to determine the trajectory of these languages so that you don't get stuck using a language that may be popular now, but is on a decline and your skills will become less and less valuable over time. As you're looking for a programming language, especially if you're a beginning programmer, you wanna find a language that has a reasonably large usage base in corporations so that you can be employable. And you also wanna find a language that is on its way up. It has an upwards accelerating trend so that in the future, your knowledge will become more and more valuable. So let's dig into the data. So the first piece of data we're gonna dig into is some data in regards to what programming languages are actively being used in the software industry. And the best place I could find to start that research is using the 2021 Stack Overflow Developer Survey. This is a survey that consisted of over 80,000 developers giving feedback on what type of tools they were using and what type of tools they wanted to use in the future. So here we're going to jump down to the technology section. We're going to scroll down and we're going to see most popular technologies as a subheading. And below that, programming, scripting, and markup languages. Here inside of this section, we're going to filter instead of by all respondents to professional developers. So now we have 58,000 responses from 2021 in regards to what the most popular programming languages of today are inside of the industry. Now, if we look at this data, we'll see that not surprisingly, JavaScript is the number one most popular programming language, according to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey. Now, the Stack Overflow Developer Survey is probably not even having any biases in regards to JavaScript. The truth of the matter is JavaScript is the only programming language that is native to web browsers. Now, historically, JavaScript was used only in the web browser, and that gave it some limitations. So JavaScript is used to execute in web browsers on the client side, so that's on your computer or on your phone, whenever you downloaded a web page. It was the only language a developer could use that would execute on a web page that you loaded. Now, if we jump down to the next true programming language, we'll see that it's Python, but before talking about that, below it, we have TypeScript and Node.js. Well, what are these? Well, it turns out that TypeScript and Node.js are not true languages in and of themselves. In fact, they're part of the reason that JavaScript is in the number one position right now. So TypeScript is a language that compiles down to JavaScript. So you write TypeScript, it compiles to JavaScript. So eventually it's getting executed as JavaScript. Now TypeScript gives you some advantages over JavaScript for at least some developers believe this because it allows you to write your JavaScript code in a statically typed manner. So you're typecasting, you're in control, of the types of objects you're creating. You're allowed to use primitives and pass them through functions and declare that you only want a very specific primitive. Meanwhile, in JavaScript, a dy dynamically typed language, there's a lot more confusion, especially for early developers, because there's no restrictions on what type of objects are stored in what variables. And so you can have shape-shifting objects that translate from one type to another type on the fly, and you can have functions that accept multiple types of objects, but have unintended functionality when the object is not of the correct type. So TypeScript solves some of those problems in the JavaScript world. It is not always considered to be the best solution, but it is a solution to the problem of dynamic typing, and that increases the popularity of the JavaScript programming language. On the other hand, Node.js is not a language in and of itself either. It's a interpreter designed for the JavaScript programming language that allows you to use the JavaScript language to build applications that run on servers, for example, APIs, to build applications that run on desktop, for example, command line utilities, 
even for things like video game backend servers. So this allows JavaScript to escape the browser and become a functional backend programming language that runs on a variety of different devices. Now JavaScript has more benefits than just that. In the, today and in recent years, there's been a lot of mobile applications written using JavaScript thanks to Facebook's React Native project. So JavaScript has turned from the language of the web to the language of just about everything. It is the jack of all trades language on this list, hence its number one position. The next true programming language we see on this list is Python. Now Python has risen in popularity very rapidly over the past few decades. It's a scripting language that has a very elegant syntactic style, and it seems to have learned from the faults of a lot of other scripting languages and hence taken over many of those scripting languages like Ruby that you see down here much lower on the page. So Python is very frequently used today in a lot of applications where the developer is not necessarily a software engineer but needs to write code. So Python has a lot of mathematics libraries, it has a lot of physics libraries, it has a lot of statistics libraries. It's also very big in the world of data science, in the worlds of artificial intelligence, and in the world of cybersecurity. So Python has really stood out as an easy to use programming language that is not only easy, but powerful. And because of that, Python is the number two true programming language in the popularity ranking in the Stack Overflow developer survey. Now, if we go a little bit lower, we see some classic enterprise languages. First off, we see Java, which most of you are probably familiar with, and we see C Sharp. Well, what's the difference between these two languages? Because they fill the same purpose in most corporations. These, these are statically typed, very well-defined OOP languages that don't offer a lot of flexibility, but instead offer a lot of structure to the way in which the code is written. Well, Java obviously runs on the JVM. This is an intermediary. So when you write Java code, it is compiled to the JVM. And the result of using the JVM is quite simply that low-level Java code is very difficult to debug. In addition to that, the tooling around Java is not as good as the tooling around C Sharp. C Sharp syntactically is very similar to Java, and the way you program your C Sharp code is very similar to the way you would write Java code. But C Sharp, written by Microsoft, has a lot of advantages in the form of tooling, and when you want to use any type of low level code, it becomes much easier in C Sharp rather than Java. Now, if we go down a couple lines, we'll see PHP. I would consider this more of a legacy language that was used for the creation of a lot of web pages. Uh, this is a backend language that interoperates very easily with HTML, CSS, SQL databases. Unfortunately, PHP, compared to all the other languages on this list, has been the target of a lot of security vulnerabilities, both in the way that its code is structured, making it easy to introduce vulnerabilities into your own code, but also just in the fact that the PHP language itself has had a lot of deep language level vulnerabilities in the past. Finally, if we go down two more levels, we see C++ and C. These are high performance, low level languages that require memory management. C and C++ have a lot of similarities in their syntactic style. C++ is a superset of C, and C++ ships with a standardized library that makes it a little bit easier to work with. So when you have applications that allow you either C or C++, it is not uncommon for developers to choose C++ over C. However, there are some reasons why you would choose C over C++ as well. So we have a pretty good idea of what the most popular programming languages are. And we can look at this list and say JavaScript, Python, Java, C Sharp, PHP, C++, and C are probably the languages that we want to target. So we identified a couple of programming languages that are very popular in the software development industry. These are candidates for the best language to learn for 2022. In fact, for the best programming language to learn for 2022. However, the popularity of a programming language does not tell us everything that we need to know. So here we jump over to the TOB index. This is an index that's created by data mining, search engines, Google, Bing, Yahoo, as well as some other sources like Wikipedia, Amazon, YouTube, Baidu, etc. And what the TOB in index tells us is trends over time. So the Stack Overflow developer survey gave us a good idea in regards to what the most popular programming languages are, but it didn't tell us the trends. 
are these languages increasing in popularity or are they decreasing? See, especially as a beginner, if you're picking up a new programming language, you want to make sure that you'll be employable once you gain some mastery, but you also want to make sure that this programming language is growing in popularity, it has an active community, and hence your skills will become more valuable year after year. So the TOB index can give us some insight into this question. At the top, we see the C programming language, and we can see that there's been recently a pretty strong decline in the popularity of the C programming language. And if you look, you can see over time, the C programming language has had a number of drops in popularity, and the trend has been downwards to some extent. Now, this is, I believe, largely because there's a lot of alternatives to the C programming language. In the past, many industries, for example, electronics, video games, made use of the C language because it was very powerful and very performant. However, today, many programming languages are capable of being written in a performant manner. So the C programming language is no longer the end-all answer to someone looking to write high-performance fast code. The one benefit C has going for it is most electronics still have their code written in the C language. So C is not off the radar yet, and C is potentially the best language for anyone looking to get into electronics. This could be through Arduino, ESP32, etc. Now, next on the list, we see Python. Python, as a programming language, has exploded in the past few years. As I mentioned, the Python language has been around for a long time, but it's recently been adopted by a lot of communities that have picked up programming that aren't necessarily software developers. So as I mentioned prior, data science is pretty much moved entirely to Python, statistics, mathematics, any type of mathematical modeling. A lot of these programming uh, a lot of this programming work that isn't necessarily software development but requires the writing of code has moved to Python because it's simple to read, simple to pick up, and is very developer friendly in addition to being quite performant. So Python is on an upwards trend, in fact a very strong upwards trend, making it a very good contender. Java on the other hand is on a downwards trend and this continues and it will likely continue into the future because Java now has competition. At one point in time, Java was the enterprise language of choice. But today, Java is often not being chosen because C Sharp has better developer tooling. It has better not only tools, but even an IDE that is considered to be one of the best IDEs in the entire world across all programming languages, Visual Studio, that integrates so cleanly and, and uh, you know, you can develop things from within the c -sharp language using Visual Studio with so many tips and pointers and automation points that you can actually code much faster than in Java. And beyond that, because c -sharp doesn't make use of the JVM, anytime you need to do anything at a little bit lower level, it becomes much more simple. So if you want to make some changes to the way compilation occurs, you want to do low-level performance enhancement, or you want to tweak the way in which the garbage collector works, C Sharp will give you advantages over Java. We jump down a little bit, we see JavaScript. This is the jack of all trades language that originated as the language of the browser. Obviously, JavaScript is a strong contender because as of right now, you can write JavaScript code and it'll run moderately performantly on almost any device. So you can write mobile applications, desktop applications, web applications, and in some cases, you can even use JavaScript, compile it down to C for electronics. So JavaScript is a great choice if you're looking for a flexible language with a lot of applications. Finally, the last language we talked about was PHP. Now, PHP has been on a strong downwards trend. If you want to Google why, I think you'll find a lot of reasons. But from my perspective, one of the biggest detractors of PHP is not only the language has been riddled with security holes that are quite significant in the past, but it also encourages a developer to write code in a way that is not inherently secure. So PHP is one of the languages that we're going to drop off of our list and not suggest for the best language of 2022. And in fact, let's talk a little bit about what the full list of options for the best programming language in 2022 includes.